Hey, Sabres! Check this out. Boom! Seven netherite ingots. I've been... I went to the nether, got some uh, resources. There was actually a lot more quartz than... I don't know how much I had before or how much I got there, but there was tons just left sitting on the floor because I filled my whole inventory with netherrack and quartz and gold and such and such and such. So I went through a ton, but I ended up mining uh, 20? 30? I think? Yeah. 30 pieces of netherite scraps. That got me the, the seven ingots. Um, but I'm ready to upgrade my armor. Finally, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long, 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 long time. So let's get to it. All right. First thing, boots. Boom. Netherite boots. Pants. Boom. Netherite leggings. Or I guess, yeah. Is it leggings? Leggings. Pants. Let's be honest. All right. Third thing, diamond chest plate. Boom. Netherite chest plate. And last but not least, boom. A netherite helmet. Oh, don't open the chest. And huzzah. Oh, man. Now I am feeling powerful. <laughs> I've got most of my tools upgraded as well. I need to upgrade my shovel and my silk touch pick. I just need to get that enchanted as well. But hey, look at that. Look at me go. Feel like I'm kicking butt. Um, good thing, too, because I'm... Oh, got an achievement. Cover me in debris. Oh, I like it. 4% of players got that? Kudos to you, Minecraft players. Um, I'm going to be working on down here a little bit. This is going to be, like I've mentioned before, kind of a crafting room. Up here is a storage room. You come down the stairs. And then in here, there's going to be a couple different things. Over off to the side here, we'll go down into like the basement. Um, kind of a dungeon-esque theme. Uh, in the sense of like, it'll be just stone bricks on all the walls, things like that. Because that's going to be where all my furnaces go. Like my um, smithing tables, anvils, things like that will all be down in that area. It'll be kind of just a place for you to work and it'll get really warm and stuffy because there's fire everywhere and metal tempering, things like that. Anyway, that's for that corner over there. Through these logs here, obviously I haven't built it up, but this will go over into, I think, a library at least. At least a library, like with the enchantment table and stuff. I know I'm there. I know it's kind of sad it's gonna be moving from there because that's such a such a great spot for it right in the middle of everything uh, but yeah that'll be moving downstairs and along with just kind of like a loom room because there's some more to come on that later I've got a pretty cool banner design to show you all um, but yeah so that I want downstairs not you that you really need a room for it but just something to, to decorate up a little bit more and put across from the library and then across here just from the front you come down the stairs in the front i want this to be kind of a map room with like a giant map on the back of the castle the big kingdom on the hill i think it would be super super cool and obviously there would be some cartography tables and things down there so essentially i want to be able to come down here and access all the different like crafting blocks that i need so i've got looms and enchantment tables I've got a cartography table, I've got blast furnaces, furnaces, smokers, anvils, smithing tables, things like that over there. Obviously, I've got some in my villager trading hall, but I wanted to have a more kind of legit spot for them all. So that's that's kind of the plan. Let me show you really fast a super cool design that I've been working with, and I, I, I've been really enjoying it, actually. It, it adds, I like depth. I just like little details like obviously you can tell right down here we're walking on slabs i like to work with slabs i think i mentioned that before but i think it's just kind of a fun little detail that adds some depth to the whole thing but this is just another one of those tactics um let's see i don't have any dark oak wood just kidding it's actually not dark oak wood it's spruce wood well this down at the bottom is dark oak wood but i wanted to use spruce wood that is stripped like that yeah so you take these walls because walls you know, obviously they can look kind of like fences, you know, when they're built like that. Oh, I forgot if there's something behind it. Um, but if you layer a whole bunch of them on top of it, it becomes like an actual legitimate wall. Let me show you. So you build just this whole thing out here. So it's just like a flat surface that has just a little bit of depth to it. It kind of meets with these borders on the bottom, on the top, on the sides. And I think it looks really good. I think it just adds a little bit of, yeah, depth of kind of, yeah, I don't know what else to word. Whoa, what other word to use um, other than just, just depth. It adds different layers. It gives your eyes something more to look at, which I think it to be more visually appealing. And I like andesite. I wasn't, I was trying to go for something a little bit more welcoming and homey down in this bottom section. 
It'd be like a lobby. I don't know, like a waiting area, <laughs> waiting lobby. Like you come down here and this is how you get to the rest of the, the stuff. You know, like down there, it's just going to be cold and dark and stony with stone bricks everywhere, things like that. But up here, I wanted it to be oak wood. Oh, man, that's that was really, hang on. Um, oak wood and carpets and nice, I don't know, couches or something. And the andesite was a good building material that wasn't wood, but that also wasn't like super just stone just straight stone the whole way around and it you break it up with the the doors and entrances i actually wanted to make these spruce as well so that's kind of the general idea that's the plan we'll have these andesite walls go all the way around with the border up on top and on the bottom the slabs down here i want to do something in the middle here as well maybe just like some crafting tables because i don't really have a spot for those yet i'm sure they'll be in every room though um but yeah that's kind of the general plan so i'm gonna get to work on that a little bit more um and then then i will i'm so excited to show you the new banner but we got to throw in the loom the loom room the room loom room of looms the sewing station i don't know um okay yeah <laughs> so, so i'll go i'll go fix that in and then i will show you this amazing banner design for this kingdom Alrighty, so i just wanted to give you a quick update to this i've got it mostly finished the little lobby thing that we're working on i didn't update you much throughout the building process but there wasn't too much going on um like i mentioned before the andesite walls things it just kind of adds a little bit of texture you can see the little lip with the dark oak lock no that might be dark oak i don't remember um i think it looks really good i think it's kind of cool a little trim around the outside and obviously it does look kind of stony the andesite wall but i think that's just because of the stone that you can see through the doors once we get that all patched up i think it'll look um a lot better because it looked pretty good in my creative testing world which did not have a whole bunch of caves <laughs> behind the doors um so hopefully that should work just fine but i also wanted to throw in some like decorations and stuff i had brought some kind of some foliage i wanted to throw some stuff here in the corners just to add some color and i really liked the azalea flower bushes that i was working with in the um the alleys cave so i wanted to try to do something like this <laughs> and i really like the look of the rooted dirt too so i grabbed a couple of that as well so let's see i'll just make a little lip around this as well let's make sure i have some stairs yep perfect okay so yeah just kind of make a little ledge around lip around the the tree and if we place this on top and then a lot of people have used like i heard like using moss on top of the azalea bushes and things like that works pretty well but i wanted to have the pink flowers so i'm actually using a, an azalea um what is this? flowering azalea leaves on top as well obviously you can tell the textures are a little different because it's got like the transparent parts and the leaves but i think it looks good i think it looks good i think the flowers work together well the little green um so let's do that on the other side as well and then for these back two corners i had something else in mind to hang right here and it has to do with the aforementioned loom room, the room of looms, the doom, loom, room, boom. <laughs> I don't know, it's a work in progress, um, which will go in this part of the air, uh, I don't know, this little underground crafting lobby thing. So that's going to be kind of the next project uh, because I want to make some banners. I'm super, super, super excited to show you the banner design that I came up with because I think it's so cool. I think it, it works great. Midas is going to like it. Um, obviously, it's his kingdom, so it's going to be his banner. Um, but yeah, it's going to be super, super sweet. I'm excited to see how it works throughout the whole castle. Um, but yeah, okay. I'll finish up the touches here with some lighting and things like that. And then we can go ahead and get started on the, on the loom room of doom. Yes. I finished a hallway. Boom. Spooky. Look at those and iron golem inside. It's pretty awesome because this lobby thing here is supposed to be like warm and welcoming with oak woods and, and light stones, things like that. But then you turn left and then whoo, spooky hallway with some wither skeleton busts and dark woods and stone. That's because we're in, in here. We're going to have the room. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing just thinking about it. The roomy, do, roomy loomy of doomy. <laughs> That's not what I'm calling it, but I like it a lot. Um, so we've got the two doors here at the end. Um, yeah, over here will be the enchantment room. These are just going to be super, super, super small rooms. Um, I'm actually really, really excited for them because they're going to be really dark as well. Like, that's going to be the, the theme. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have to mark that one. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'm, I am pretty excited for it because it's just going to be like... 
I don't even know how to describe it, uh, especially before I built it. Excuse me, Midas. Um, it's it's going to be a similar vibe, though, to here. It's going to be this, like, spooky section of the castle. Like, you come down here. It's a section that nobody wants to go to, you know, because, like, the weird, weird vibes. The, yeah, just weird spirits and things. The blue torches. And nobody really knows what's going on. So nobody really comes in, in here. Um, but, yeah, you swing off to the left. And then you have the the room loom roomless roomness doomness of loomness is it's a work in progress the name's a work in progress um and, and yeah it's gonna be so awesome so so awesome i'm super excited for it it's gonna be just this like teeny tiny little room it gives you almost that like claustrophobic effect you know you walk in and um and the loom is gonna be right in the very center of the room like just very center it's just this ominous like right there there's nothing you can do about it it's just this creepy i'm ex i'm excited i'm really excited for it um so it shouldn't take me too long just because the room's so small uh but i want i don't you know no heck let's let's do a time lapse that, that should be kind of fun let's do a time lapse we'll jump into a time lapse I really love this room already. Obviously, it's it's nothing special. It's pretty bland, but I think that's kind of that's part of it, right? Because let me let me show you really quick. So, a um, couple of finishing touches. We'll throw in a lantern right up there. That looks great. I love the soul lanterns. How much light they don't give off. It's so dark and eerie. Um, but then this right here. Let's see where do I want it right here. Maybe. Yeah, I think this should be good. This will be where the loom will go supposed to look kind of like a spindle and there's a, a needle on the front just be careful lest you prick your finger <laughs> but it's so cool look at this look at this look at this you can walk into the room and it's just this like black room with the spindle in the middle it's very 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 ominous it's like nobody wants to touch that that's absolutely not absolutely not um but there, there was a couple more finishing touches that I wanted to do. I'm going to go need to get some wool because I wanted to throw some banners around the outside. Just like a, a couple simple like rainbow ones, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, something like that. It's it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It, it like contrasts with the, with the black of the whole room. There's going to be just little splotches of color. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll explain more once I get the wool and, and I'll kind of show you show you what I'm working on. But so far, honestly, I, I love the room like this. Just like this. It's so creepy like you just you know there's something with this with this spindle here with the loom that you like no you don't want to touch it you know so keep that away Midas and if you have any daughters keep them away as well um because it's so creepy but it's so awesome and the soul lantern just gives a little bit of light to this and then like the corners are dark right here over in here it just looks so good I think it blends super well um and we're gonna get some wool and we'll make some banners yeah maybe I don't need this many purple sheep red Clip. Orange. Clip. Hello. Clip. Green. Clip. Blue. Clip. And of course, purple. Although I did accidentally make some more purple dye. Alright, so I got the banners. Um, yeah, just a standard three colors. I think. Do I want to go here? Red, orange, yellow. Yeah, I think that looks good. Green, blue, purple, like that. Um, I think this is actually pretty fun because, well, it, it contrasts a lot with like the darkness of the room. Um, hang on, we can throw in some like scraps of thread or I don't know, I don't know, wool, what, I don't know what you call this, on the floor around. So just like, hmm. I want to add some color because I like the rainbow around the outside because it gives you some of this like emotional conflict like this uneasiness like oh it's all happy and rainbows and stuff but then still the ominous loom in the middle of the room that picture like hansel and gretel or something like that going into like the witch's house like oh it's candy and it's colorful and it's bright and yay but then you know it's creepy and the spindle in the very middle um so i can't tell if the carpet on the floor adds a little bit too much color i don't know if i'd add too much more than that hmm <laughs> maybe we can throw on a table there i just don't want this room to become too noisy 
because I want your eyes to be on on the spindle here. So I might. Hmm. We can take a look. We can try it. Let's see. Do I have any stone in my inventory? I do not. Um, is that an iron golem? Oh, yeah. I got to show you a picture of an iron golem that I took when he's standing like right here in the doorway. It was perfect. It was like right as I logged on. Um, and he just fit the frame <laughs> so, so well. It was pretty awesome. Made me laugh. Um, we can try these ones. Because, yeah, the, the, the problem or the trap that I don't want to fall into is I don't want to get too much going on in the room. I don't want it to become too noisy that it distracts from, from the loom, which I think we're kind of riding that line a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the table. I don't like it as much. I do like that the wool, like the carpet on the floor, adds some, like, naturalness to it so it's not just like very systematic like the banners hung perfectly on each side and then the loom dead center in the middle of the room uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing it just kind of depends on what look i'm going for which i guess that's that's the problem <laughs> i gotta figure out what i what i want to go for but so far i do like it a lot I'm trying to think what to do next because there's a banner design that i really really want to show you all uh, which i hinted to before so you're probably dying to see it as well um but i also got to work on the library you know, I could work on the library off screen. It's nothing crazy. It's essentially just, <laughs> it's the same setup that I have right now in that, uh, I don't know, the current enchantment room right over here. Um, you're just going to walk in. There's going to be a bunch of bookshelves and things and you come up to the enchantment table and it's going to have the same theme, going to be the dark bricks and stuff. So let me, let me grab some resources and I'll show you, I'll show you this super cool banner. Are you ready for the grand reveal? of this kingdom's banner i bet you are i certainly am i'm super proud of it ready here we go three two one and boom ta-da i present to you the gold cursed saber super super cool they're not super sweet yeah so it's a combination of two banners you can kind of see the one back there that's how it looks longer um but i just love it it ties in like the gold and the gold curse like Midas. I wanted to do something gold for him because this is this is his kingdom, right? I'm just I'm just there. But it's also the sabers, you know? So we gotta get that rep represent that black and purple. And I mean purple and gold are both very royal colors. And this looked amazing. It turned out fan fantastic. I was super proud of it. I fiddled around with a bunch of different designs with this flower charge thing and the crosses, but um, it was just difficult to make it look not like a cross and make it look like a sword instead. Um, so that's when I kind of fiddling around with, started fiddling around with some of the things at the top and towards the bottom. And I had the idea to do two banners together. Obviously the blade might be a little short here. I fiddled around with different like lengths of the blade and I had ones that were longer, but I really like this black, um, triangle down here at the bottom. Um, just because it makes it look like the banner is split at the bottom. And I love that kind of effect. Um, yeah, and it looks really good on these kind of black stones too. Obviously, it's not always going to be on the black stone, but that's kind of the idea of it there. Let me see if I can break it. There you go. And I can show you what what the designs were um, for it. So for this first one, I had a black banner just because black wool is easier to get. It doesn't really matter if you do black or purple. Um, it just determines what you do for that first gradient. It's either a purple base gradient if you have a black banner or a black base gradient if you have a purple banner. But then just followed by the yellow flower charge or the yellow cross doesn't really matter which order you do those in and then the black chief indented the black chief indented is are those little like the three spikes up at the top you can kind of see them there um so that's it for the first banner so nothing too complicated there the second one's not too hard either this one i just did a purple banner because i had a lot more purple wood or not excuse me wood um wool but i would recommend doing a purple banner you just start with the yellow cross same thing as as the this first one here and then the purple per bend um and the the other like it's co uh, counterpart there is the like diagonal slash from the top left corner down to the bottom right and then from the top right down to the bottom left um so that's what kind of chops off the end of the blade right there as you can kind of see it faded so that's where the the two lines go and then you just add the the uh, i don't know the triangle at the bottom i don't remember what that's called but that's the design that's the design for the banner it is called the chevron yeah so i think it so I'm super excited. I'm super excited to hang it up. Um, and there was actually one other design of banner. It's just kind of a mini banner, I guess, because I wanted two designs for banners. One that was just the regular length of the banner, so like two blocks tall, and then one that was the more showy side of the banner. Sadly, I do not have a ton of black dye, which is kind of a bummer, but it was black on the top, same as the other one. And then um, 
black on the bottom like that just because it adds it makes it look like um the banner doesn't go all the way down to the bottom it makes it look like it's it's kind of a gothic vibe um so there's that and then you just throw in a flower charge just to kind of represent the gold curse i guess so that's kind of the the design there of the the mini banner so i can hang this one up more conveniently like in rooms and buildings and stuff and it was actually this banner design that i had intended to place over in these corners right here um just something like that to add a little bit of color represent the kingdom things like that so that's kind of the gold curse uh, but then again we've also got this one here the gold curse saber which looks <laughs> so cool i'm still like kind of freaking out about it because i think it looks so awesome but both of these banners are super cool i love the combination of the black purple and then also the yellow for midas um and i think the two royal colors work together really really well um so yeah there's the banner sadly i will have to do a lot more resource gathering to really decorate up the whole castle because i only have like the two banners right now and i don't have a lot of black dye which comes from squids and wither roses, and I don't have many of either of those, specifically the wither roses. Um, so yeah, I might have to go kill a whole bunch of squids or figure some farm out or whatever, but I did end up finishing the library in here. So essentially, yeah, I just took whatever the setup I had up there and moved it right over here. It's nothing complicated, but I wanted to stick with the same feel of kind of from over here, the, the claustrophobic dark room, like there's not a whole lot going on, just very, very simple. And I love how the enchantment table gives off its own light. It's just, it's super cool. Like it, it draws your eyes to the enchantment table like that. And I've got a chest here just with some lapis and stuff in it. Um, I did use some more looms right here just because it looks like empty bookshelves. That's a pretty, pretty good trick to, to pull there. Um, Hopefully I don't actually use them to do any of uh, the crafting with <laughs> the banners or else that totally defeats the purpose of, of this room. I did decide to get rid of the carpet sitting on the floor as well just because I felt like it was drawing your eyes elsewhere, not towards the loom. I'm still going back and forth with the banners here on the walls. I do like how it's... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little too early in the morning for me. <laughs> um... I do like how it's more systematic, like it looks very intentional. I think it fits fits the feel of the loom, but it still kind of draws your eyes away from it. Like when none of these were here, the only thing you had to look at was the loom. And that's kind of the effect that even uh, Beauty and the Beast goes for. In the room, it's just the spindle sitting in the room and you can tell, you can tell there's something going on with the spindle. And so maybe, maybe I'll get rid of those. Um, it's not quite... I might toy around with it a little bit more. I don't feel like it's quite the the effect that I'm looking for, but that's okay. That's okay. I am still pretty satisfied with it. Um, but I think that's about it for for today. I feel like there was some good progress done. We got this all finished up. Um, got this hallway done, which I also think looks really cool. I love the the wither skeleton busts. Um, finished up the loom room of doom, which looks awesome, super cool. And then of course the library. You know the people who used to work here. In this hallway, they were kind of a weird couple. I'm not totally sure why Midas hired them. Um, there was an older couple. You know, she was a seamstress, and uh, he was a uh, well. I'm not totally sure what he did, but he read a lot of books. That's for sure. They were they were kind of weird, but uh, they disappeared a couple months ago, and nobody's seen them since. So uh, that's kind of weird. But uh, there was something. One last little bit that uh, she left behind the seamstress. I never caught their names. What was her name, Midas? Do you remember? I feel like it started with an A. R uh, Agatha? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agatha. That was her name. And I don't remember his name. But she had a, a broom that she would leave here. They would display on this back table. And we never quite could figure out how she got it to float. But uh, who knows? Maybe she was a cleaning lady before we came. We were never quite totally sure. But there you go. There's Agatha's broom. She left it here. I guess we'll just... We'll leave that there as well. We'll close up the doors and we'll call this hallway done so we don't really have to go back into it any ever again. Except I totally do to, to get more banners and stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for this week's episode. It's not just today. This is many days in the process. And I, I do got to say, I've been really enjoying this world, this adventure, this Minecraft experience. Um, I know our little community is pretty little. But I want to thank you all so much for the support. Oh, goodness, zombie. Uh, not not your support. I don't appreciate your support. Yeah. Um, but seriously, thank you so much. Thanks for checking out the shorts. Thanks for 
being here, watching my episodes and things. Um, I really do appreciate it. The sun rise? Oh, yeah, the sun must be rising because all the mobs are there. Um, seriously, though, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully we can grow our little community. The Sabres can, can become a little bit bigger, a little more well-known. Um, but baby steps, right? We're taking slowly but surely. And next episode, I've got some big plans. More aesthetically with the castle uh, obviously the castle's been underground for well the whole thing is underground so far with the all this but i want to revamp this area here kind of the entrance to the downstairs area and i want to set up at least start i'm not sure how far i'll make it on the grand hall that's going to stretch out this direction and come out towards the end so it, the castle's finally going to start poking through the mountain um, and we'll have to terraform and a, i'm i'm really excited for that part Really, really excited for the whole thing to start coming together a little bit more. Midas is excited for it, too. We'll get his throne room all set up. We've got some pretty cool designs for that as well. But, again, I've been rambling on. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for checking out the episode. And if you're new, um, if you subscribe, I, I post videos every Saturday and the occasional short throughout the week. Um, so far, we're doing this Survival Let's Play world. Enjoying that. Might get some more series coming later. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to be notified and keep up to date on all my uploads and things subscribe to the channel make sure notifications are turned on all that good jazz um but thank you sabers and everybody else for for watching this video and i hope you have a great week